We start with New Play by Brandon Jacob Jenkins, one of the most exciting visionary voices in American theatre making at the moment. It's about a small group of people who were at school together, who are reuniting now about 40. It's a comedy, all their lives have moved on, some to success, some to chaos. It's got a really fascinating central conceit with um, a sort of ghostly character, I won't say more about it, that sort of stalks the play. But it also is haunted by how, I guess, the last 20 years in American politics have played out. It's a campus play, but it's about the conflict between, I guess, generational feminism. It features a sort of uh, an academic who is sort of in the tradition, I guess, of Jermaine Greer, he fought for women's rights and changed the world, I guess, to some extent through the 60s and 70s, who comes up against her students' attitudes, which are different. I think it's going to be the big play of ideas and argument, and it gives expression and character to a lot of the most knotty problems we seem to face at the moment without being sensationist for the sake of it and I think it finds a resolution in a really interesting place as well. It's directed by Elena Arbo who I think is one of the most visionary new directors in Europe. It's the story of a woman in France through I guess from the 19th post-war period to now who leads on the surface quite a ordinary Madame Bovary-like life, but it's how world events and world ideas intersect with that ordinary life. And five amazing actresses play this woman at different points in her life. It's a play full of music and an amazing physical vocabulary and language. It will be unlike anything we've seen, I think, in London before. Two of the most iconic, important plays in the British theatrical tradition. John Osborne's Look Back in Anger in its first London revival for decades and Arnold Wesker's Roots, two plays that come from the sort of crucible of the 1956 moment in the Royal Court where new working class voices were kind of finding exhilarating theatrical form, inspired, challenging, provocative voices of that moment. The two plays will create a an explosion through the autumn and whatever you may or may not think of it, if you don't see Roots of Look and Anger, then you're not a proper theatre fan. We really hope we get to see you at the Almeida in 2024 because you're in for a treat.